after an entrance like that, I feel like I have to make a statement right away. So here we go. <clears throat> One small step for man. That's it, folks. That's it. There is no giant leap from this guy, okay? If you think you see me taking a giant leap, it's me literally falling off the stage, okay? So it's gonna be a trust fall, so it's gotta come a little bit closer, okay? Can't hit the ground. Don't let me get, don't let me get disfigured, okay? <laughs> You know, uh, listen, you gotta let the laughs out. If you hold the laugh, it's like holding a fart. It's not good for you, okay? All right, you guys are on my side. <laughs> Did anybody pick up uh, any kind of hobbies during the uh, the lockdown a couple years ago? Anybody at all? Just me. Okay, all right. Well, I did. I got a Rosetta Stone, actually. I learned a new language. You guys want to guess which one? Sarcasm. <laughs> Sarcasm. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. No, I actually went for sign language, folks. I did. I know. Oh my God. You're, you're thinking like, I don't think that's possible. So let me show you, okay? Everyone just hold on. All right. All right, you're on my side. Here we go. I'm just feeling you guys out over here. Let me see if I can divide the room here. Maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Let's see. What's everyone's stance on marijuana? Yeah! And everyone else is just active duty, so they can't say. <laughs> Blink twice and I will see you, folks. I will find you. <laughs> well, believe it or not, I am actually not for uh, getting marijuana off the schedule one. I'm not. And here's the reason why, okay, folks? When I wake up in the morning and I, and I get up the, out of my bed and I check the schedule, the very first thing on that schedule, the number one thing on that schedule is to roll it up and smoke it. It's the first thing on there. So I'm not going to take it off schedule one at all. <laughs> it is schedule one, and two, and three. All right, you guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. <laughs> that one made bomb. I'm not quite sure. That might go down as a bomb. I don't know. <laughs> now I have bombed before, folks. Clearly. <laughs> hey, -oh. hey, -oh. let those laughs out, folks. <laughs> Let's keep going. Huh? What do you guys think about the whole Brittany Griner thing? Yeah, I know, a little touch there, right? I have to say, I'm actually kind of embarrassed about that whole thing, right? Because until that whole Brady Griner thing happened, I had no idea there was a, pro a professional, well-connected arms dealer right here in America. And all I'm saying is, I could use an arm, folks. I could use an arm. So I don't know if you still take an orders, but I want one. I want one. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Listen, since I got you, you guys, all, first off, you all look beautiful, okay? You all look very beautiful, and it's very, very good to be here, here tonight. Um, and then there's me, right? I'm in a t-shirt, right? <laughs> and as soon as I got here, my friends over here at table one are like, Adam, do you want my tie? <laughs> Even their girlfriends and wives are like, do you want my dress? So I'll take, you know, I'll give you my dress. I said, no, no, no. This is how I do my things, okay? It's like, if you ever see me wearing a tie, just know this is between you and I and me now, okay, folks? If you ever see me wearing a tie, know this. I did not tie that tie. <laughs> Somebody else was involved. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys are doing good. I like this guy, man. That's a good voice. Good laugh. <laughs> um, you guys heard about this liquid death uh, water? Yeah. Yeah, I just learned about that six, seven months ago, right? It was at a, at a bar and somebody had it, right? And I just thought it was a new kind of beer, but then my friend told me, you know, it's, it's called liquid death water in a can. And I was like, liquid death water? That must mean it comes from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> I mean, but I'm like, Adam, that's a stupid thought. Don't say that in public. You'll look ridiculous. Because obviously it didn't come from Flint, Michigan. It came from Camp Lejeune, folks. <laughs> Put your claims in now. They've been trying to kill you since 1952. It's crazy. So they're moving out of there right now. Of course, they're going to East Palestine, Ohio. I know. I know. We gotta laugh at life, folks. We gotta do it. It's the only way to get through. <laughs> it's the only way to get I get asked a lot of questions when I go in public, as you can imagine, right? And uh, recently I was in a grocery uh, store, and a young guy came over to me. I didn't really feel like talking, but he came over, and the, the first thing he said, he didn't say his, his name or anything, he just said, Are you a vet? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm a vet. And um, I don't like to do that really when people come over and talk to me. I usually just try to ignore them, but the next thing he said was, I don't know where he just goes, Oh my God, you're a wounded Navy SEAL. And I'm like, oh my God, what is, between you and I folks, okay, I was in the conventional army, I was an engineer, okay, so you heard Sean say, okay? I was not special forces, but I'm also a comedian, okay? So I leaned in on this when I said, <clears throat> well kid, and just on a side note, I'm, I'll be 39 next month, so anybody in high school or lower, I'm calling you a kid. Even if you're, you're a kid, okay? I'm getting up there. I said, uh, actually kid, that's, uh, that's classified. <laughs> 
So if you want to know, you got to go to Biden's garage. <laughs> or Trump's house, right? Or Trump's house. Or Pence's house. Whatever you want to do. Get classified documents everywhere, folks. They're everywhere now. <laughs> I'm glad that one went well. Listen, I'm telling more truth right now than George Santos ever has. <laughs> ever has, folks. <laughs> That guy has more uh, hot air in him than the Chinese spy balloon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know why Biden shut that thing down? It was full of classified documents. Did not let anybody find that thing? Come on. <laughs> I got one more about Santos, because is he here, by the way? <laughs> He's not, but he'll tell everybody he was. He wants to be here, folks. <laughs> I, should, I actually think that uh, Santos should be put in, taken out of office, but he should be put in as the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Because just like the VA, he's full of BS, folks. <laughs> Ooh, that one hurt. Some of you friend of Santos, huh? <laughs> All right, let's change the topic just a little bit here, folks, a little bit. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to everybody this past week. Hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. Did anybody? Okay, that sounds good. Guys, you better step up your game because the ladies aren't. We're too happy right there, you know? <laughs> uh, are there any single ladies here tonight? Okay, none of them, huh? I was just told to calm down, okay. Well, of course, I am a single guy, right? But uh, the, the time is not for me right now because what women want right now, what I hear all the time is they want the dad bod, right? They want the dad, you don't even have to be a dad, you just gotta have the dad bod. And I want that trend to end and the war bod to come in. Because if the war bod comes in, I'm gonna clean up, folks. I mean, I'm gonna tear this place up. Sometimes I want to curse, but I gotta hold it in. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do a clean show here. Well, clean enough, you know what I mean? <laughs> As you saw me coming over there in the wheelchair, right? I spend most of my time in the wheelchair. And thanks again to Yellow Ribbon Fund because that's a hell of a valet spot for the VA or for the wheelchair right there. <laughs> Big time. So I am in the wheelchair a lot, right? And when I'm out in public, like I said, people come to me and they want to save things. And women in particular, they always they kind of feel bad, they don't really know why, they didn't know what happened to me or anything, but they just want to come in and give you a hug. And I have to tell, if you're in a wheelchair, you might agree with me, I'm all for it. When they want to come in, it's a full-on rack attack just coming at you. You know what I mean? All I'm trying to say is, ladies, I'm giving free hugs after the show. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, all right, here we go. Now, I do know a lot of APTs, right? Of course, from the military and all from the civilian side as well. I do know a lot of APTs. And a lot of them uh, say the same thing. I know they want to motivate and be an inspiration of other people, and that's a good thing. Keep doing it if that's what you want to do. But stop saying the same thing. You know, they keep saying, you know, something like, if you lose a leg or become an APT, was, quote, the best thing that ever happened to me. And I completely have to disagree, folks. <laughs> I mean, I can say a lot of things right there, but the first time I touch a titty, best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I mean, the last time I touched a titty was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I know, that's a lot of titty talk tonight, I know, I know. <laughs> Does anyone want to guess my current day job? And if anybody says mannequin, I am going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose it. Imagine you went to Under Armour and you saw me, it's like, buy a t-shirt. <laughs> they wouldn't sell anything, folks. But let's uh, see, give me, give me more two. What do you guys think I do for my current day job? Nanny. A nanny? I got to tell you, that kid is going to die. That kid is not going to make it, folks. I wouldn't hire me. <laughs> give me uh, give me one more. I'll tell you what my current day job is, but give me one more. Somebody yell it out. What's that? Uber. Uber. I, I said Uber. Tammy, you taught me how to drive. You know I shouldn't be behind the wheel. <laughs> what was the one over here? Gigolo. Gigolo. I wish, folks. I gotta tell you, with these short legs, it does make my dick look huge, folks. <laughs> it's almost like I planted that guy. I don't know where he came from, but thank you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, you know, my current day job is I'm a crash test dummy. You guys knew that, we didn't want to say it, did you? You knew it, you knew it. I'm still out there late, saving lives, folks. I'm still doing it. All right, what else have we got here? I know we got a lot of veterans here, obviously, right? Do we have any uh, Afghan war vets here as well? A few? Yeah, make some noise, folks. Make some noise. Woo! Yeah. You guys all probably got the same question I did after, uh, what was it, September of 2021 after the fall of Afghanistan, right? Everyone was coming to me saying, Adam, what do you think about the fall of Afghanistan? How do you feel about the fall of Afghanistan? What do I think about the fall of Afghanistan? I think Afghanistan fell faster than a Florida condo, folks. 
Oh, don't tell me you forgot about that Florida condo, folks. That was only a year ago, a year and a half, maybe. If you forgot about that Florida condo, that means this joke or any Afghan joke I have won't make any sense in six more months. It'll all be forgotten, folks. It'll all be forgotten. <laughs> now listen, you can hate these jokes, folks. And you can hate me for telling it. It's my twisted mind that came up with this stuff. But what you cannot do, what you absolutely cannot do, is you can't come up here and you can't Will Smith me. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> and obviously I have not let that go yet. I thought that was crazy. And uh, a few weeks after that, Dave Chappelle gets tacked on stage. Also crazy. Now here I thought, right, getting out of the military, getting into stand-up comedy, I would be in a much safer line of work. <laughs> no. Now when you tell jokes, people want to kill you. So all I'm saying is I'll make a deal with all of you right here, right now, folks. If you guys don't come up here and Will Smith me, I won't come out there and Bill Cosby you, okay? <laughs> come on, do it. Oh, we're taking shots here tonight, folks. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this. Do you guys understand that Bill Cosby is actually going back out on tour? Uh -huh. yeah. no. That's true. Would anybody go see him? Would you guys go see him? Yeah. No. Yeah. Most, most people say no. Some say yeah. I have to say, I would not personally go see him. I wouldn't do it. However, I would open for him. <laughs> <laughs> I would open for him, folks. Comedian, it's hard to say no to a stage, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, we're having fun here tonight, folks. <laughs> Now listen, that was a, I know that was a tough joke, so don't, don't, don't try to cancel me on that one. Everyone tries to cancel people, don't try to cancel me, okay? Now a group of people did try to cancel me already, believe it or not. It was a Taliban, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and I came back as a comedian transformer, so watch out! <laughs> Nobody is safe, folks. <laughs> All right, let me just check one more. I gotta check, I gotta check my schedule, yeah? That's time. Time for schedule one and schedule two, guys. My name's Adam Keyes. Thank you so much.